Hi, I'm Mike Stanton with Build America Mutual. It's February 11th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update. I'm here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks for being here this week. Um, again, uh, markets were focused on volatility and focused on inflation. A large January consumer price index report yesterday uh, set off a pretty sharp sell-off in the Treasury bond market. Muni yields hung in better than that. Um, what do you think is going on? The uh, well, I mean, I miss the days of you know higher taxes and a lot of the a lot of the um, sort of the issues and policies from last year. But it, you're right. I mean, the whole story these days is uh, is the Fed and inflation. Um, we had seven and a half percent year over year. Obviously, a eye popping number, uh, 0.6 percent month over uh, month over month. But also the less volatile core CPI was also uh, rose 0.6 percent. So. It's you know pretty broad inflationary pressures um, persist across the uh, majority of all categories. So we're heading to higher rates. The talk now uh, is obviously kind of you know when the 50 basis point hike comes. Most people are expecting uh, in March. You know, in, in terms of munis, um, you know we've seen flows. They've been obviously very rate driven outflows that have been pretty significant. Uh, today was another tough day uh, in the market. I, I don't. You know they have hung in there, but I I think that you know uh, supply has been pretty moderate uh, in January. We were just about the same as uh, the previous January, February. We're running slightly ahead, but uh, supply has been moderate and not enough to really um, uh, sort of uh, you know overwhelm um, uh, supply in the market. So. You know, but I, I don't think we're finished adjusting yet. I mean, weekly flows actually were up slightly uh, this week after being down 2.9 billion last week. But I just don't think current prices are really kind of sustainable. Um, you know, at least in my opinion, given the growing imbalance uh, between supply and demand. So, um, you know, inflationary pressures have ratcheted up. Uh, higher rates, uh, more volatility in the market for really the first time since. Uh, you know, uh, first quarter of 2020, or um, and that's provided you know a very favorable market for bond insurance. I mean, penetration rates. I think uh, we hit 10% uh, in January. We're seeing a lot of uh, interest in the secondary uh, insuring um, bonds that have previously been uh, issued as uninsured. So this is all. Um, I think kind of this disruption has all been you know, very positive for bond insurance. And you see from the yield charts uh, that the yields you know, are moving upward, but you know, in, in more or less orderly fashion and transactions are still coming. You and I uh, had a, a webinar yesterday with a bunch of issuers from the uh, Government Finance Officers Association. And it sounds like the feedback there is people are waiting to see uh, the dust settle a little bit, but there are still transactions out there waiting to come to market. And so uh, that you know, once stability is, is reemerges, uh, the supply probably will kick up a little bit. Yeah, uh, I mean, I, I mentioned that supply has been fairly moderate, but new issue uh, as a por uh, I'm sorry, new money as a portion of that supply has, has picked up uh, up about 11%. So I think um, it, uh, if we see what you're expecting, more uh, new money transactions um, that won't be obviously as impacted by the higher rates as some of the refunding volume. So um, we're still expecting a pretty robust uh, volume. And you know the, the months, March, April, May, you know, before we hit kind of the summer where we get heavier, um, uh, redemption um, cycle. Uh, I think the technicals are going to be challenging for munis, and, and uh, you know, as you mentioned, the munis have uh, municipals have um, hung in there um, pretty well. We're back to like seventy-eight percent on the ten-year ratio, um, and uh, and eighty-six percent on the thirty-year uh, ratio currently. So those are uh, kind of, I would say, fairly priced mid-range type numbers. And just really quickly, uh, recapping the uh, new issue market, $188 million of new issues insured by BAM last week. Uh, that was led by Wabash County, Indiana. That was uh, underwritten by Stiefel. It was a $37 million transaction. And the Katy Development Authority uh, down in Texas, that was underwritten by Hilltop Securities, a $22 million transaction. And next week, uh, leading the calendar, we just found out BAM will be used on a city of Carbondale, in Illinois transaction. That'll be underwritten by JP Morgan. Total face value is $42 million. These are tax 
taxable general obligation bonds. And BAM's uh, anticipating that we'll insure about three quarters, a little more uh, than that. Uh, several other transactions waiting in the wings. Uh, they're relatively high rated transactions. So I think the underwriters are waiting to see how the spreads break up to see whether insurance makes sense there. But uh, Carbondale is actually kind of a, a royalty in bond insurance circles. It was the first municipal issuer to carry a triple A rated bond insurance policy way back in the 1970s. So I always smile when I see their name come across. I so, didn't know that, Mike. <laughs> now you learn something new on the BAM Weekly update all the time. Thanks for being here. Uh, Grant, we'll talk to you next week. Enjoy the weekend. Thank you.